Hey guys, so today's video is going to be kind of like my current go-to makeup these past couple days. It's actually the look I've been wearing every single day for like a week now. And I've done a lot of looks like this in the past on my channel, but I always love these minimal makeup looks because it just gives me a chance to sit here, relax with you guys and not put too much thought into my makeup look. So we're doing very minimal things in this video. I'm just gonna show you my current go-to routine, basically. What I've been doing, what I've been loving, what has been working for me. It's been a very no makeup makeup week, so I just wanna show you what I've been doing. All right, let's do it. Okay, so my eyebrows are already on. I've been trying to let them grow out these past couple weeks, so they look insane. Just ignore that. So whenever I do this look, skin prep is very, very important. By the way, this is so good. This is a cool lime refresher with coconut milk. I discovered this because Kendall Ray, I don't know if you guys watch Kendall Ray. She has a podcast, her and her husband, and she's been drinking this in her podcasts. And it, they, and it looked so delicious and intriguing, so I decided to get it and I love it. I like it more than the pink drink. I just find it so refreshing. It's so good. Anyway, I'm gonna start off with moisturizing my skin. I usually always use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer, but I have been testing this out. I just recently purchased this. This is the Cora Organics Hydrating Moisturizer for Dry Skin, and I have been really interested in this Cora Organics line. It's from, it's by Miranda Kerr, the Victoria's Secret girl, <laughs> model. <laughs> and I've been testing out her products. I just recently placed an order on Sephora. I think I like the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer even more though. This is not too bad. I've been using it a couple days. It's not too bad. It's nice and hydrating, but that Kiehl's one though is real good. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this eye oil. This is also from Cora Organics. This is the Noni Radiant Eye Oil for all skin types. I've never really used an eye oil before, but I've been testing it out these past couple days and I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it just yet. But I like the fact that it's like a little roller. I've been wanting to use something in the mornings, like underneath my eyes, besides my regular daily eye cream. Something just a little bit I don't know how to explain it. Something that's just really gonna prep my under eyes for concealer and all of that. And this oil isn't too bad. I feel like it really does sink into the skin nicely and it's not too greasy. And just let it sit there for a second. Let it absorb into the skin before I go in with concealer. I'm gonna take skin prepping one step further and I'm gonna use the Amazing Cosmetics Line Smoother and Primer. And I'm just gonna roll this onto my smile lines because it's a line smoother. Okay, so now is the part where I'll just go in with concealer. I'm gonna start off with my under eyes and I'm gonna take a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And usually on days where I'm doing like very little makeup, I won't go in with such a full coverage concealer because it just looks a little weird, but I'm just gonna use it today. Today is actually, well, when I'm filming this, it is my little nephew, Noah. It's his birthday today. So I'm just gonna go hang out at my sister's house and I'll be there all night. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit like that. A little bit like that and I know that looks like a lot but I'm gonna take my beauty blender and it's gonna absorb a lot of the concealer and I'm also gonna blend it around other areas of my face I'm gonna take this onto my eyelids to cover up all those veins I have so many veins on my lids and then I'm gonna start bringing this around the nose dragging it down a bit so it can conceal other parts of my face I really try to make sure I get right up in here because I have a lot of darkness right here. So I try to get that, try to get that. Adding that oil underneath really does just like make this concealer look so youthful and dewy. So I'm also gonna drag some of this onto my actual nose in between my brows. I'm just really trying to take this concealer as far as I can take it. <laughs> so the other day I actually learned a little trick, all thanks to Emily Noel, because Emily Noel tweeted a video that Sephora posted, like on the Sephora YouTube channel, on how to conceal under eyes and how to cover up your dark circles. And in the video I think it was like a Sephora makeup artist, or I'm pretty sure he's just like a regular makeup artist, not a Sephora one, but they used him in this. Actually, I don't know who he is, but he gave amazing tips. I'm actually gonna link that video down below. Usually, especially when you watch a lot of YouTube videos, Videos, everybody will just go in with concealer like I just did blend it out boom you're done He explained that after you add concealer if you have these dark circles right here that are really deep and you want to bring them forward You get a lighter concealer a lighter one than you just use and you only place the light concealer Right in the darkness so that you bring that forward and then it all looks nice and even but I'm just gonna take this Kevin Aquan Supernatural concealer in light and I'm just gonna pop this right here. And then I'm gonna take my ColourPop F11 brush and I'm gonna start to work that into the skin. 
and you only want to focus this concealer on the area where you have that darkness. And you can't really tell right now because my darkness isn't very pronounced, but I've been doing this when I haven't really gotten any sleep and I totally see a difference. So I just wanted to share that little tip with you guys, but I will link the actual video down below because I'm horrible at explaining things. So I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape again. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna take a little bit around my mouth. I, I like to cover the vein as much as I can, <laughs> but it's like barely any concealer, honestly. Just trying to even things out. I apply a little bit on my nose up here, and then I have a birthmark in between my brows. So I like to cover that as well. So I know I always ask you guys to request things in the comments. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But I need you guys to constantly request things in the comments because sometimes I always miss something and I don't want to miss a good request. You know what I mean? And I always get caught up and then I forget to go back to older videos. I definitely still want to do the me testing out my subscribers favorite makeup video it's just i have tried out so many of your favorites that it's getting really hard to purchase things that you guys love that i haven't tried but i'm really really trying my best and i will do that video anyway so this is enough concealing my next step is bronzing usually i would just go in with powder and then i would start bronzing with powder and then powder highlight and all of that but i have just been loving cream products recently i know that's weird i still haven't fallen in love with a cream blush but i have been loving cream products especially for my dry skin lately. so i'm gonna take the wet n wild mega cushion contour this is my favorite cream bronzer from the drugstore. This and the Cover FX liquid bronzer, they're the best liquid bronzers ever. But this is way cheaper <laughs> than the Cover FX one and I love it, it is so, so good. I'm just gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna dip it into the contour and I'm just gonna start blending this. It's really easy to blend out and just try to apply less and then build it up slowly. And if I'm gonna be honest with you, since I don't have foundation on, I really don't even think too much about this step. I'm just trying to warm up my skin a little bit since I just concealed my under eyes and I just want a little bit of life to my skin. I even put a little bit on my nose, here on the sides mainly, but you know, I put it everywhere. I normally do this first, but I'm just gonna take my Agave Lip Balm from Bite Beauty. This is the best lip balm ever. Whenever you wanna put a lipstick on top or whenever your lips are extremely chapped, because it creates kind of like a thick layer, but it's not a greasy thick layer, like it stays in place. This is amazing. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of cream highlight. I've been skipping blush when I've been doing this look, just because I kind of do this in a rush, and I, I don't know, I've just been skipping blush. Like, But for cream highlighting, I'm gonna take the Hourglass Vanish Highlighter Stick. I'm not sure the exact name, but this one is called Champagne Flash. I think this is the lightest shade. I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger and then pop that on my cheeks. This is such a beautiful natural highlight and it just looks like it's one with the skin. It doesn't really emphasize texture all that much. It just gives you like a nice glossy dewy look. I also take some of this on top of my eyebrow because in the sun it just looks so pretty like when you move your head around. And then now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of powder underneath my eyes. But I'm gonna be very precise with this because I don't want this powder to go anywhere else on my face. I'm gonna take my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This is a nice powder, especially if you have dry skin because it doesn't really emphasize your dryness. It looks nice and smooth and it kind of reflects light a little bit. Like there's a little bit of something to it. And I'm gonna be taking my Real Techniques Setting Brush. Wait, let me shake this up. Take a little bit of this and set. I want to make sure I'm not touching my cream highlight because then that'll just like mattify the highlight and then it's pointless. I'm also going to drag this right around my nose like this and right here because I don't want this area to look too dewy but it's also like my driest area so I'm only applying a little bit. I know this is a lot of steps and this seems very excessive, but now I'm going to go and set the rest of my face with this but I'm still going to be avoiding 
this area right here. I'm gonna set pretty much everywhere else. And I'm mainly doing that to add just a little bit more coverage and just to add a little bit more life to my skin. I have fallen back in love with the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. This is their powder foundation. I haven't used it in so long and I just recently picked it up again. And I love how this looks on my skin. I feel like I love it more now than I did before. But I got the shade Medium Beige and basically what I do is I'll take some on my cap like this is, this is perfectly fine. And I'll use this powder with one of these brushes. These are always my two gold tools. If I want coverage and I want to set my entire face, I'll use this It Cosmetics number 225 Complexion Powder Brush. But when I want just a veil of something, I'll use something like this. Makeup Forever 122 brush. And I'm going to just take some of this in the cap. And I'm going to start buffing this around my bronzer and around my highlight. And I like doing this because this is just gonna set everything we applied. It's gonna look nice and fabulous all day. And I love that this powder doesn't really mask or cover the highlight that I applied on my forehead. Like you still see that glow shine through this powder. Okay, so we are pretty much almost done. That is all I do with my face, but I like to finish off the look with a setting spray, especially a long wearing setting spray like my Urban Decay All Nighter or this one that I'm gonna use right now. This is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Whenever I do like a full face of makeup and I have a lot of glam going on, I'll usually go in with my Morphe setting spray. It leaves you looking nice and plump and dewy. That's my favorite setting spray. But when I want something to last a super, super long time, I'll go in with something like this. I used to think that this wasn't very long wearing, but after testing it against my other setting sprays, like this does keep my makeup on all day. And I know it has alcohol in it, but I don't use it all the time. And I like doing this step right after I finish all my face makeup and before I apply my mascara. So now for mascara, I'm gonna take the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara from Thrive Cosmetics. It's so easy to remove at the end of the day that honestly, I don't wanna wear anything else. And this one is in Rich Black, which is called Brin. All of their products are named like after girls. I haven't found anything named Kathleen. I'm gonna pop this mascara on my top and bottom lashes. I like lots of latches. Okay, so I just wanted to show you my skin one more time up close. I love this freaking highlight. I know that Hourglass is a very pricey brand, but I just love how natural it looks on the skin. Like, it looks like it's my skin. I love it. Really quickly, I am gonna pop on a lip. I'm gonna take my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Lumiere, and I'm, oh gosh, I need to, I need to sharpen these. I need. I'm just gonna overdraw my lips a little bit with this. Now the lip part always changes for me. Most of the time I'll wear like a really bold lip like Hev from ColourPop or I'll just put on some chapstick. Honestly, it changes every single day. It depends on what mood I'm in. But I love that with this look, you can really play around with your lip color and I love lipsticks and like lip colors. It's my thing. All right, and now for my lip color, I just wanna like dab something on my lips, press it in and just be good to go. So I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics and it's my Ray Ray collaboration. She extended her collab with BH Cosmetics. She came out with a lip gloss, this liquid lipstick, and I think a brush holder. Everything looks really, really cute, I love it. And this is the liquid lipstick, like I said, and it's called Rosy Ray. And what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit on the back of my hand and with my finger, I'm just gonna dab some on my lips. And this kind of creates like a stain effect on your lips. Because it's a liquid lipstick, it's gonna last all day, but it's not gonna get cracky or crumbly or wear down because you're applying very little and it's kind of mimicking a stain. Okay guys, so that completes this video. This has been my current go-to face routine basically for the past couple days, for like a week and a half now. I have just been loving this fresh face look. Hopefully I gave you some tips and tricks and maybe it'll work for you in your makeup routine. And yeah, that completes this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And I'm gonna use the amazing, cause. And I'm gonna use the ama and I'm gonna use the amazing cosmetics cosmetics. Why do I say that? My sister's calling me. Hello. Hello. What? Um, I got uh, twenty-four. They're mini cupcakes. Okay.